Hello everyone and welcome to Outdoor Visuals. We are back out in the woods and in this video we're gonna cook up some super delicious paprika stew. So see you after the intro. I got this idea from reading posts on Facebook where people were asking what to cook in the outdoors. So I thought that we could share some ideas and some recipes with each other. And in the same time, I have an excuse to go out in the woods and cook up some food, which is something that I really, really like. The idea is that I will share some recipes and cook them. And that got me thinking, what about if you guys send me some recipes and I will try to make them. And then I will make a series with multiple recipes that you can find on my channel if you need some inspiration to what to cook when you're out in the, in the wild. And then I will rate those recipes on a scale from one to five on three things. The first thing will be taste. One will be not so good. Five will be super delicious. Quick disclaimer, taste is very individual. And since there are so many different kinds of cultures here on YouTube, it's to be taken with a grain of salt. The whole rating system is to be taken with a grain of salt since I'm not some food critic. The second rating is shelf life. How long can this food, this dish or the ingredients stay out of fridge? One is not so long, five is very long. Again, there are some factors to take into consideration here because it very depends on what time of year and how cold it is outside. The third and the last rating, the, the third and the last rating is ease. How easy is it to cook one? I'm sure you've guessed it, not so easy. Five, very easy. So things like which cooking equipment is needed, how much preparation goes into making this dish and how much do you need to prepare at home. Anyway, let's try it out. If you have any questions or any ideas or whatever, just uh, leave them in the comments. If you have a recipe, it could be something you like to cook when you're outside, your favorite dish or something from your country or your culture, or just something that you think is very easy. Then you can write me on this email address I don't know if it fits the screen, but I will make sure that you can read it when I'm editing the video. But on this email address, and I will also put the email address in the, in the description. The plan here is to make a playlist with a lot of different dishes, a lot of different recipes. And so people have something, some inspiration or some ideas when they're out. This paprika stew that I will cook today, that is by far my favorite dish to cook when I'm out. I will show you why when we get going. Now, I didn't make this recipe myself. I found it on the internet. I will leave a link in the description where you can find the recipe, but it's in Danish though. By the way, I am gonna stay the night here. I put up my tent. It has been a very long time since I've been sleeping in the tent, so I'm super excited. I already made it ready, everything is ready inside with the sleeping bag, the sleeping pad and uh, the lantern is all, already there. I cannot wait to get in there later in the evening. Um, normally I'm not going with the tent because it's such a hard, it's so hard for me to find uh, even ground for the tent. So I'm normally going with the, with the hammock or the tent side. Um, but uh, here I found this place, I have actually been going here. This is not so wild, there's a road going just over there so it's not like deep in the wild woods but uh, i'm just here to make a, a cooking video and i got a chance to to put up the tent and sleep in the tent so super excited about that but uh, let's get going with the with the dish okay so we're ready let's take a look at the ingredients we are gonna use for this dish we're going to use 250 gram of beef this recipe is normally for four persons but i cannot eat that much so i just cut it down to half, so it's for two persons. Normally it's um, 500 gram of meat, but I will make I will make it with 250 gram of meat. It's uh, beef, it's roast beef. You can use whatever meat you, fi you find fit. It's uh, sliced, cut, I don't know, cubes, meat in cubes, 250 gram. Then we are going to use one onion, one green, pepper fruit, two tomatoes, and 1.25 deciliter of, I don't know, uh, creme, creme fraiche, fraiche, creme fraiche, I don't know what you call it in English. This is two deciliter and um, I'm not gonna save anything so I'm just gonna use the whole, the whole thing. You make it with rice. Um, I have 70 gram of rice. You can juice whatever amount of rice 
that you want. That's it, let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is to cut the onion. And um, here is the reason why I like this dish so much. It's because everything needs to be in big pieces. So you cut the onion in big chunks. So it's, it's easy when you're out here and the, the room is not so... Um, I'll just put this half there. And you don't have so much space. So take this out, put this here. Now that the onion are cut, we are going to cook the meat. So uh, let's get down to the trank here. Just gonna brown the meat and then we will add the onion and the water and the paprika. You also need one tablespoon of paprika. Okay, we're just gonna let it brown. I will return when it's brown. Okay, now it's it's getting there. Yeah, I think it's okay. So I will add now, I will add the onion. And then you just uh, brown the onion with the meat. Try to get some of these pieces out a little bit. And after that, we're going to add the paprika and the water, and the salt. And it's uh, one teaspoon of salt. So now it's time to, to add the paprika, I think. The onions are soft and a little bit brown. I don't know how much you can see from the steam, though. I have this. From my Primus dining kit, there's like three compartments. I have pepper, salt, and uh, one tablespoon of paprika. Exactly. Actually, what you call perfect. So we mix that around. Now it's time to add the water. And again, the Primus comes in very handy. The cup that comes with the Primus has measuring units and it holds two deciliter of water. So this will be two deciliter. Now we'll just mix this a little bit. And I will go bring the last half deciliter. So now we just need to bring it to a boil, but first I will add the salt, one teaspoon of salt, but I guess that depends on how much you like salt. Yeah. I will try it afterwards if it needs more salt. So now it needs to, I need to bring it to a boil. Might need to turn up the heat a little bit. And then it needs to stay for 30 minutes. And in the meanwhile, I will cut the other vegetables. 
So back to the table. Okay, so let's cut the rest of the vegetables. We will um, start with the pepper fruit. I already removed the inner parts of the pepper fruit, but um, it's very simple. You just cut it in slices. <coughs> I'll just put this piece there. This cutting board is not that big. And the cutting board was also from my Primo set. So, just cut it in slices. And I'm not very thorough when I'm doing this. Oh, so I have the. I had to move the trunk here to fit the table again, but um, it's, it's right here, soft boiling, and it smells delicious. Like so that was the pepper fruit, and now the tomatoes. Also very simple. Just cut them in quarters. Oh, I almost cut my hand, my finger in quarters. Cut the tomatoes in quarters. Like so. And that's it for the vegetables. The next thing we will do when when the timer is up for the for the soft boil of the meat and the onion, we will add the rest of the vegetables and then it again needs to stay for, for 30 minutes on a soft boil and then we will add the creme fraiche creme <laughs> creme yeah creme creme fraiche yeah. and then I will boil boil the, the rice I only have one trank here so I will have to boil the rice like remove the, the, the main dish and then boil the rice and then I think that I will cook up the the paprika stew so it's not so cold before I'm eating it so I will return when we are adding the vegetables the 30 minutes is up so I will add the the rest of the vegetables and see if I can mix it a bit here I think maybe I will add a little bit of more water. A lot of the water have vaporized, so I will maybe add half a half a deciliter more water. Yeah, I will do that, and uh, and then you just let it stay for another 30 minutes, again on a soft boil. So I'll do that, and I will come back when it's done. So the 30 minutes is up. And uh, it looks very, very, very nice. Okay, so it's time to and to add creme fraiche, creme fraiche. The one I've chosen is with with 15% of fat. You can use whatever. Uh, the more fat, the better the taste. And then you just mix it. And now it's done. I'll just bring it up, heat it up a little bit. And then I will start to cook the rice. Okay, so I have 70 gram of rice, so I put 200 gram of water and I will bring it to a boil and then I will add the rice so I will come back when the rice is done so the rice is done so it's time to eat There you have it, paprika stew cooked in the outdoors. It was super delicious. I am very full. That uh, portion was uh, was much.
So to the ratings for taste, I will give it a five because it's just, it's super delicious. I will encourage you to try it, at least just try it at home and see how, how it is because it's, it's very, very nice. The, the creme fraise, creme, it's just, it gives so much to the tomato uh, sauce and it's, it's very, very nice. You should really try it. Shelf life, I'll give it a two. There are some ingredients in the dish that needs to be in fridge and cannot stay so long outside the fridge. You probably could switch those ingredients with something that has a longer shelf life, but for this dish, I'll give it a two. Ease, I'll give it a four. The way the vegetables are cut in big pieces, it's just super easy to sit with when you are in the outdoors. And there is very, very little preparation from home. Probably you should cut the meat if you're not buying it cut already. But apart from that, it's just everything is just done here. And it's very, very easy and very easy to sit with. Overall, I just think it's a very nice dish to cook outside. That's why I'm, I'm very, very often cooking it because it's just very few ingredients and it's super nice taste. And it's just, yeah, easy. So with that said, I will now do the dishes and then I will enjoy the rest of the camping trip with the tent. And it's still, I still have some daylight left, so um, I will cook some coffee now, I think, and, and just uh, enjoy being here. It's very nice. It's a little bit windy. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Ooh.